investigation now. Confidential information in the hands of transients, trespassers, and thieves. And you won't believe what we uncovered inside a local derelict building. We're talking about property at 2022 Northwest Division in Gresham. Amy Fraser is here with what she discovered inside that building. Amy? I found out private patient records were being stored in a vacant building that people have been breaking into. That is, until we contacted the property owner about what we saw. So here's the property on our right. Acting on a viewer tip. Looks pretty desolate. It's something we had to investigate and see with our own eyes. What once was a Gresham nursing home and later a rehab center is now boarded up and run down. Some glass over here. Oh my gosh. Take a look inside. Papers thrown everywhere, boxes, open cabinets, alcohol bottles inside. Right now I'm looking at what looks like a photograph of someone's teeth. From the window, I looked closer at the papers. I can see some documents that say Lake Oswego Dental Center. I can see a name and see an address on there. There's a ton of these yellow documents which look to be part of patient files. This one says replies are strictly confidential and there's more. Just looking through this doorway here, I can see several patient social security numbers. And that's just what I can make out from here. Imagine what people breaking in have access to. I also noticed that it appears someone put a piece of cardboard here so this door won't lock. I also discovered patient records outside the building. Here's one in the grass. Here's one near another entrance. The person had a pacemaker in 87. To find out more, I asked neighbors about the property. We get tweakers breaking in and stealing stuff. John Veach says the building has been vacant for years, and he often calls police about people trespassing. Gresham police tell me they've responded here 188 times in the last five years for calls including trespassing and burglary. Did you have any idea there were dental records and medical records? No, that actually very much surprises me and distresses me. Using the patient information I saw through the window, I started trying to contact people at risk for identity theft. I'm angry. I'm angry and I'm frustrated that we go through so much to try to protect our personal information and then something like this happens. Melissa Peterman used to be a patient at the Lake Oswego Dental Center. There you go. Oh my gosh. Yep. One of the social security numbers I found. This is from 2005. Belongs to her relative who needed dental work during a visit to Oregon in 2005. I think you're doing a great thing by um, investigating it, but also letting people who you know already have been affected know about it. The family has now put an alert on their credit. This clearly needs to be cleaned up and, and fast. I mean, before any of this information is compromised. I can't wait to find out what you find out about how it ended up there. I checked county records and found that Basil Ayub has owned the property since 2009. Records list his home address, so I went there to get answers. He wasn't home, but he did call me the same day. When we went to your house and I explained to your daughter what the problem was, you decided to drive by the property and you had no idea it looked like that. He declined our request for an on-camera interview. However, the owner tells me he's been storing patient records for Dr. Hadi Nordin, who's a local dentist and business associate, something he says he's been doing since purchasing the property. I checked with the Oregon Board of Dentistry and learned that dentists must retain patient records for at least seven years beyond the patient's last visit. I spoke with an office manager for the dentist. And we were very concerned about about what we saw there. I wanted to know why patient records were being stored in a vacant building. The office manager told me they thought it was secure. The dentist himself has not returned my calls. The property owner tells me the patient records had been in locked cabinets here in a locked room, but he says he saw otherwise after we contacted him. In a statement, he says, 
Due to the break-in that you brought to my attention, all of the stored files in the building have been removed and shredded. I was sent this copy of the shredding receipt. I also confirmed the shredding with the office manager for the dentist. The property owner also had this dumpster delivered to remove anything else left inside. Plywood now covers the window where we saw the patient records. The owner says, quote, I have made every effort to lease or sell the property and still continue continue to do so, but due to imposed limited use of the property by the city of Gresham, it has been very difficult to get a tenant or a buyer interested. He also says he'll continue working with police to make sure the property is properly secure. And it's unclear when exactly the patient records were tossed all over that hallway. But again, it has now been taken care of. The property owner has been very responsive when we brought the problem to okay, him. Okay, even though he didn't appear on camera, mm -hmm. because of your investigation, he took action. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. That's getting results. Thanks, Good Amy. Good job, Amy.